It is a big day for local anglers. The Idaho Department of Fish and Game restocked the Boise River with the new catch, Chinook salmon. Yes, and it's the first time in five years that you can go hook a Chinook right in your backyard in Boise. So we got Barber Park, Park Center Bridge, Americana Bridge, and Glenwood Bridge. They all hosted the salmon transfers today. Those are going to be hot spots. So in total, Fish and Game released around 300 excess or extra salmon they had, and they come from the Rapid River Hatchery up north, and that's near the Riggins area. And that's a good group of trophies in the mix, too. Fish and Game says about 100 of the stocked fish are at least two feet long. And anglers, they wasted absolutely no time lining the Boise River banks today, and it made for some good competition, too. If that's what you're into. Here's our Andrew Barnline. It's not far from the city, but it's far enough. The Boise River Bank. It hosts a routine getaway. I fished on it for 50 years. Perfect enough for Gary Warhol. Yeah. He fishes alone today. And if my grandson hadn't made plans this weekend, he'd be standing here right next to me. But hopefully. Uh oh. Yep, got it. Not for long. And I'm always fishing for trout. Always? Trout's probably I catch the most of. Not exactly the pinnacle of variety. It's a rainbow. And they seem to have a knack. <clears throat> Darn it. For getting away too. Yeah, I lost my leader. I've fished places where there's a lot of fish, a lot of salmon, and there's just not that many salmon in Idaho anymore. At least not in the Boise. Not for five years. But you never know until they show up. Due to the dams, salmon don't swim here anymore. Fish and game, truck them in from up north. Little Salmon River, Rapid River, Hatchery um, in Riggins, Idaho. But only when there's a surplus. Today marks rehoming 300 Chinook for anglers to bait and hook. Salmon, when they bite, they just pick it up. They very seldom really clobber it. Most of the time it just it just almost feels like you got a snag. You could try to wrestle with them alongside the sideline crowd towing the line on the definition of a fair catch. But nature has a way of sorting that out too. It's a game of patience. But the restock helps with the pace. It's very noticeable. Very, yeah, very noticeable. But um, it's not even the goal. Yeah, I like the solitude. I'd rather, I'd rather fish in a place where there's not as many people and which means there's not as many fish, but you know, I just like the solitude. It's a unique game between fish and man, both sides trying to get away. Of the 300 released today, most are jacks. Relatively, they're the little guys. They drop them right where those people at the raft are, the blue raft. The remaining 100, Expect a school of two footers flipping through the river this summer. They go everywhere. To get them to come to you? It's a real big deal, a real big deal to me. Gary gets creative. A little piece of shrimp. They're a fun fish to catch. They're not easy to catch. You don't get that many fish. You don't have that many opportunities around here. So when you get an opportunity, you take it. An opportunity to get away, where this riverbank is just far enough. You know, this is right here, right here in downtown Boise. Fishy Game says this is purely recreational, and Joe, think about recreating. I'm not kidding you when I say there were like a dozen fishermen just lining the bank of Barber Park today. The second those fish were thrown out, they're throwing their lines in the water trying to track down those fish, so people weren't wasting any time. I'm curious because you were just kind of telling me about this before we went on TV. What's the deal with nets? People trying to grab them with nets? So I actually learned this today. I'm not a big angler myself. That's actually against the law. It's illegal. You can't do that. You have to actually catch the fish. And I think what the fishing game guy said to me was, uh, you have to hook them in the mouth. I, I think like the gill counts. Um, but you can't just like hook them in the body and catch them. And people were trying to do stuff like that. So fishing games out there, like, yes, these fish, they've been in the truck. They're lethargic trying to figure out again, like, how do I work the body kind of thing, you know? And uh, people are going after them with nets, trying to get them while they're slow and tired. You can't do that. You have to actually catch the fish. And the fishing game guy kept saying over and over again, guys, we're fishing, please be fishing. So yeah, there's gonna be a couple hundred, 300 of them out there now for uh, any fishermen interested. Probably less than 300 now. 
Oh, somebody has to have caught one by now. The guy we talked to, Gary, uh, I told him to send me a picture if he caught one. I haven't gotten a picture yet. So uh, no such luck for Gary yet, but it sounds like he fishes a lot. He might get one. You got to give the fish a chance, you know? You can't just scoop them up in a net. You That's got, too easy. You yeah, got to give. You have to give, Joe. Well, I'm curious, too, for the salmon. What a day for them. I mean, their wires must have been crossed because, look, they're up in Riggins. Yep. They load them into a truck, so they're in that truck that's floating around. They drive all the way down to Boise and then, boom, right into the Boise River. All lethargic. They're tired, but uh, hopefully they're feeling better now. Well, Andrew Bartline reporting. Thank you.